How's it going everyone? My name is Corey Rumbaugh and today I'm going to teach you guys how to avoid a noise ticket with a preventative IoT system. So let's get into it. So what's the issue? So it is extremely easy to get a noise ticket and slow as I'm sure many of you know. It seems like cops are just like looking for people to give tickets to nowadays. Um, noise tickets are very costly as well. First one 350, second 700, and third and above are a thousand each. Keep in mind if you have a landlord these are actually doubled. So you'd be paying 700 for the first, 14 for the second, and et cetera. Uh, and college students, we just can't really afford to pay for these tickets. So we have to look for alternatives. So what's the idea? I wanted to make an IoT system that alerts you when the noise level is too high. I wanted to be able to notify roommates when we need to decrease the volume. And I wanted to use multiple notification methods to do this. Looking at the goal, just to reiterate, I want to build an IoT system that notifies you to turn the noise down to avoid getting an expensive ticket. And looking on the left, you want to kind of look at that specific target area of 90 to 110 decibels. So how did we collect the data? Uh, I did the noise sensor uh, was the best choice here. Obviously, the noise sensor connects uh, to the Raspberry Pi through a USB port and a connected USB Python module. The sensor will listen for any sound between 30 and 100 decibels. And the sensor averages the reading over five or X amount of minutes and reiterates this as many times as you want. Uh, you can see my code below. This is how I did this, just a nested for loop. So in terms of storing and retrieving data, I did both local and, and cloud storage. For the local, I had a total of over 500 data points. So I decided to use pandas to analyze the data. I was able to find the minimum, maximum, and average of the nightly data, along with finding the quietest and loudest time of the night. Uh, with the cloud, I wanted to do this to record the live data. That's pretty cool. The roommates can access the data at any point if they want. And even for me, it'd be cool to see the data if I'm not at home and you know, just see what the guys are up to. So the first notification method is email. Um, and the way this works is when the noise sensor detects a five minute average rating of over 80 decibels, uh, it will send an email to all the roommates, the sound level including saying, you know, noise too loud, we gotta turn the noise down. Uh, also, I did something where at the end of the night, it'll summarize what, you know, the average nightly sound, uh, when the loudest and quietest point of the night was and what that value was. And up top here, you can kind of see the code I used to do this. Moving on to the second notification method. So for the past year, uh, me and my roommates, uh, we decided we were gonna have a life-size cutout of the rock in our living room. So I've always thought it'd be pretty cool to put a speaker behind it and have it say some quotes. And I thought this project would be a great time to do so. Connecting the Raspberry Pi with the speaker couldn't be easier. Um, you know, there's just a few buttons you connect it to. So I was able to do that. Uh, you were able to trigger vocal warnings uh, that, that was the goal when the sound got too high. And I wanted the quotes actually to be from The Rock. So I had found this video, Best Verbal Smackdowns. Uh, you should go watch it. Probably not appropriate to playing class, but some great quotes. Unfortunately, you find out very quickly that when you have a lot of noise, it's hard to hear a quote from a small speaker. So this didn't really work out, but I still wanted to do something with The Rock. So what I did was I randomly um, chose like six uh, quotes and I put them in an array and my goal was to randomly play them throughout the day and the way I came up with doing this was I decided to look at a, um, a interval of time and see what the average decibel rating was and if that was significantly less I have 20 in this example uh, significantly less than the previous decibel rating than this sound would play imagine there's tons of people talking in a room. It's like 70 decibels, everyone, but like two people leave and they're, you know, just hanging out on their phone. And this is the time I wanted to play, you know, that awkward silence where no one's talking anymore. So that was the goal with this. Uh, and it's worked out pretty well. So that was fun. Looking at the economic analysis, though, of the main project, um, everything I had speaker I've had for a while, Raspberry Pi sensor and the cutout of the rock all amounts to about 150 bucks. Looking at the yearly cost benefit analysis, uh, one ticket, two tickets, three tickets, I averaged um, the probability, found an expected value, and returned a rating of 8.77 return on investment for this project. So obviously, this was great to have. And in conclusion, uh, the additional noise is not smart when trying to minimize noise. So in future IoT projects, make sure to consider that first. 
Um, obviously, this is not as useful during COVID, but it has a lot of future value. And I uh, also learned The Rock has some great quotes, so you should definitely check them out. And any questions? Thank you all so much.